Okay, welcome back. So in this lesson, we're going to look at the factor theorem. Just take a quick look at what's ahead of us. So we'll establish what the theorem is. In all theorems, there is uh, an if condition. The if condition is related to if you have a polynomial and you have a factor, then a certain root exists, which we look at. Okay. So we will go through how you show that 2x minus 3 is a factor using the factor theorem. You could use long division and get no remainder, but that's not using the factor theorem. Okay, we will use the factor theorem here to create equations in A and B and solve them simultaneously. We will use the factor theorem and trial and error to find one root. From that we'll get a factor, from that we'll get long division or a polynomial division of some sort. Then we'll get the quotient, no remainder, and we'll factorize that. We'll factorize and set everything equal to zero and use the null factor theorem. And then we'll do various exercises to reinforce our learning. So now it's time we take a look at the factor theorem. Okay, so let's take a look at this app here in the top left of the uh, padlet that I'll have shared with you. And if I can, I'll share it in the um, in the description of YouTube, this YouTube video below. So what we have is we have a polynomial being graphed here. It has a, a single root at 2. Note how it cuts straight through. It has a double root at 4. Note how it touches 4 but then glances against 4 and comes back down again and it has a treble root at 8 and notice how it chicanes in to the root of 8 and then bends back out again as a chicane does just imagine a Formula 1 car zooming through this it would slow down and it would be an exciting part of the race well What's this dot about? So what this dot is about the output, well, we, we kind of know, let's go up here where it's positive. We kind of know what to expect here. Um, we expect 160 coming out when we put in um, Oh yeah, when we put in 1.851 into all of these factors, you can multiply them out together and you get 160. But notice that when you actually land on the, one of the roots, of course the output is zero. Now what, this, what the factor theorem says is, if two is a root, as it is, you can see it, x minus two is a factor. If, four is a root, as it is, then x minus four is a factor and it divides in evenly. If eight is a root, then x minus eight is a factor. But notice, just, just to converse, now I have to be careful about that because I can use the converse by saying, if I know of, if I have a factor, I know the root and vice versa. So that's the factor theorem, but the, the converse also is the remainder theorem, which is a bigger and better theorem than the factor theorem. It says to me here that if, uh, here I have it exactly at three, if uh, the remainder theorem says uh, if any number is filled into a polynomial, the remainder of long division is equal to the actual output. This is incredible. So if I divide in x minus 3 into the expanded version of this, out comes um, minus 125. It's incredible. And so why does that 
kind of uh, contain the factor theorem because if you put a root in you get nothing out so uh, and that entails that if you have a root you have a factor So we've stated in writing. Now you should have a pen in hand and you should be writing the factor theorem as follows. For any polynomial if f of a equals zero. Now that important that's a very important word. If this condition is true, then x minus a is a factor. Now a special case I want to discuss. So a simple case if f of seven equals zero, then x minus seven is a factor. It divides in and the remainder is zero. There's no remainder. It divides in evenly. Now the converse is a very important thing to deal with. It, the converse theorem also works. Conversely, if x minus a is a factor. If you start with a factor, then you know that f of a equals zero. But we're just going to quickly pop up a new page for giving a more extensive view of this. What if ax plus b is a factor? Well, then, f of minus b over a equals zero. Or minus b over a is a root. Okay, brilliant. Let's get down to some questions. Right. So, they start off with a sort of a tough example here. If 2x minus 3, well, we have, they're given it, show that, so 2x minus 3 is the factor. Three over two is the root, and we're going to prove it here by showing f of three over two, and we'll get zero equals zero. Now, there's a bit of without using technology, this is a bit of heavy lifting. But three cubed is twenty-seven. Two cubed is eight. Okay, we cross that out to four. Minus five times. 9 over 4 plus 5 times now 3 over 2 is the same as 6 over 4 because I want quarters down below minus 12 over 4 is a cool cool way of writing minus 3 because now at least I have everything in 4s ok so tidying up a little bit I have twenty seven minus forty five plus thirty minus twelve equals zero. Okay, positive. Okay, and indeed fifty seven minus fifty seven over four equals zero. And that's you finished. So two now this is using the factor theorem directly. 
2 and minus 1 are roots. Okay, I'll close it at that and we'll continue later. <laughs>